would you agree that as photographers or as wedding photographers we are more than photographers i like to think that we are like superheroes because there's a lot that we do on a on a wedding day that go beyond our scope as photographers one of the things that we do is well take a look at this picture right here i'm sure as a wedding photographer in our part of the world um speaking in ghana near ghana in T I'm speaking as a Ghanaian photographer shooting weddings. I've, I've been in a situation like this more than once and I'm sure you guys have been in a situation like this uh, once or twice that the, so something like this, the hairstylist is supposed to be the one to get this thing done. So hairstylist and then also probably a makeup artist will help get everything done on point. But most often than not, you experience some, something like this and then the, the couple or the bride will fall on you and say oh please can you help fix this thing can you help fix this thing and i feel like when you are delivering your final images to your couples um you would really want to fix this because it would it won't help the whole aesthetics of your wedding gallery and also if you're sharing definitely on social media i'm sure you're definitely going to fix this so if you take the extra time to work on this and then share with your couple or your bride um they'll go the extra amount to appreciate your work you wouldn't want to edit all those pictures in Lightroom and send them back into Photoshop to fix the hair thing, right? You'd want an efficient way to just get all, the, all of the pictures edited in Lightroom and not have to send them into Photoshop and with the back and forth and everything. Yeah, we're trying to work efficiently, not super hard, right? Exactly. In this tutorial, I'm going to share with you um, how you, you can fix this thing in Lightroom so that you don't have to send your pictures into Photoshop and to, to help save you time and everything. As I mentioned earlier, you can absolutely do this in Photoshop, but if you're trying to save time and everything, there's a way to just fix it in Lightroom. Um, this is in this fix isn't going to be like 100% as compared to when you do in Photoshop, because Photoshop has way more um, to Lightroom has some limitations, but you can absolutely do this in Lightroom. So let's jump into Lightroom and let me share with you how you can easily fix this issue. We have Lightroom opened. Um, so this is uh, one of my favorite pictures from the wedding that we did of Kwame and Ousua, um this month actually. And this picture stands out a lot because it has the issue that we are talking about. Um, I even spoke to Ousua the bride about it and <laughs> well what she said we see what can what can I say and the thing is usually there's a thing that I always um, that as photographers we are supposed to we are supposed to know um it's like a rule of rule of thumb that basically says that it's better to get the shot right in camera than fix it in post so if you're taking if you're shooting anything that you're shooting whatsoever try and get it close to how you want the image to look like so when you get to post to editing you can just add it add a little to complete the image but if you are shooting and then hoping that when you go to edit you would fix it um, usually You'll be sometimes disappointed or you have a lot of work to do um, so that's what basically i'm been talking about in terms of a picture like this um you know so if you can tell the uh, hairstylist to fix it because sometimes they they don't it doesn't come to their mind um they might be all busy and everything sometimes they know sometimes they don't um so it, it always helps that as i mentioned early on that sometimes we are like superheroes these are the things are the things we are supposed to know how to like good makeup good hair um how it outfits should fit how to put shoes on a lady a lot of things that we're supposed to supposed to learn um as photographers help or go a long way to help you in your brand as your as a wedding photographer um trust trust me on that so with something like this you prompt the hairstylist or the makeup because the makeup artist can blend it a little bit in there um so both of them can help fix it but if still it doesn't work what do you do um, you have to fix it in post so um here we go so this is a, 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 one of my um favorite pictures for for her day she's has a great smile and everything um so this is what I'm talking about. Let's see how we're gonna fix it. Basically, done my like basic edit. This the before and after, before, after, before, after. So I'm gonna zoom in and then we just get gonna get right into the edit over here. I'm gonna come here to the spot remover too, and what we're gonna do 
yes try and move or fix this over here so we're going to do it bit by bit uh, so we're going to sample this area and we're going to move to this side we're going to do like bits by bits over here we're going to come here as well i'm going to reduce the size a little bit and pick so you can change the sample area so you know to key with it or you can so you can even take it up here and see how it look like you know this is dark so you're trying to remove that the line that is very very obvious and in, in the in there so that's basically what we are doing and then we'll come here as well yeah. okay so let's fix this part a bit yeah okay blends in a little bit okay so i'm gonna get on done and this is the before and after before after before after it's not too wait it's not too obvious as before um so basically this is how you can get this thing fixed um you can go the extra mile and then clean it up i know some of you are, might be very very good in in cleaning up stuff like this you can go the extra mile um but if you want to do a quick fix this is how you get something like this um done let's move on to me probably another photo and then um do something like and then try and fix so this also is very very obvious this this is doesn't make the the image pleasant at all i've already done my basic edits um clean the the eyes brings i brought out the whites in the eyes a bit um edited the image so this a before and after before and after not too much edits right there keeping it clean and classy i like that a lot uh yeah so we're gonna try and get this fixed as well i'm gonna select my spot remover or hit q and i'm going to paint over here and sample no don't sample over there come here come here select somewhere that's very close let's go up here and see i'm uh, gonna come here and i'm gonna go all the way yeah and let's see okay doesn't look too bad i'm gonna come here and work on this side as well so i'm trying to blend it in so it doesn't look too obvious and you can see that line over here i'm gonna work on that as well that looks good okay that looks good so i'm going to start from here and continue all the way yeah uh, this place looks a little bit too sharp so i'm going to sample an area no not here upwards a little bit and if it looks very sharp you can come here and then change the feather the feather doing or reduce the size or the opacity to suit how you'd want it The point here is to to make it look as close as how it, it was going to be intended so guys i know this wasn't an in-depth um it's just a basic tutorial quick one in lightroom and i hope you grasp what i was the message i'm trying to put across you can do some you can do this in lightroom it won't be 100 but at least those who do not are not too good in photoshop at least you can get it done in, in Lightroom. And those who are like, ma have math skills in Photoshop, 
by all means um, go get it done in Photoshop. But in this scenario, imagine that um, looking at these pictures, um, the hair wasn't like so. You sometimes um, during the wedding, you know, everything will look good. Bride will come down. Um, so on a, on a typical traditional marriage wedding day, uh, after the bride um, makeup and everything is done, the groom is in the groom call on the bride. So she her, she'll be escorted by her bridesmaid. They'll come and they'll dance the entry and everything. Sometimes during the, the entry and the dance and the, all the fun and excitement, she might sweat and then the glue, because it's glue that holds the wig cap to the head. So the glue might get loosened up due to the sweat and everything and then it might, it might shift or start revealing. Um, so you they just have to maybe just work on those pictures from that time till probably the squeeze or anything or after the ceremony, the hair person, the hairstylist or makeup artist will just touch up a bit. But in this scenario, um, the hair got messed up from the beginning, from the hair getting ready, till like from the whole, from that time till the rest of the of the ceremony. So imagine that you have let's say 200 or 300 pictures of the whole ceremony, and then maybe 100 pictures of the bride. Are you gonna send all of that to Photoshop? Well, you can, but it's gonna take a lot of your time. So this is a quick fix in in, in Lightroom. If you enjoyed this video, or if you found this video useful, definitely let me know if what do you think. Are you gonna leave the hair mark? there and just submit to your couple and bride or you're going to go the extra mile and fix it let me know and secondly are you going to fix it in photoshop or are you going to do this tutorial in lightroom i'd like to know um your thoughts in the comments below i thank you very much for joining me for today's video um and if you enjoyed this content or this video definitely smash the like button it goes a long way to help the video um and share this video with anybody who might you might think might and might need something like this and subscribe if you already haven't um i need i'll be very 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 appreciative if you could subscribe to my channel and and, and let me know in the comments what do you think or also if you'd like to know there's any video that you'd like to know what are your thoughts on on wedding contracts that's something that i'm trying to uh, put together because I've had lots and lots of questions about wedding contracts. So I think I, I did a video some time back about contracts, giving a contract, and I had lots of questions and lots of reviews on that video. I'm going to do a sequel to that. And uh, so let me know your thoughts if you like something like that. Um, until I come over again next time, and I'll see you out.